We're seeing just a couple of tiny isolated showers forming along the lake breeze coming off of Lake Superior. We have one isolated shower over parts of Barriga County, also an isolated shower near the border of Alger and Schoolcraft County. Elsewhere across the UP, we're seeing mostly sunny skies, but looking off to the west, this is the next storm system that's going to move in for tomorrow. This warm front is going to bring added heat, moisture and instability, and this cold front moving through later tomorrow will bring us a potential of some stronger thunderstorms and here's the timing on that for tonight. We are staying dry. We'll see partly cloudy skies tonight. A lot of us will start off tomorrow with some sunshine, but in the morning there will be a chance of showers and thunderstorms over the Keweenaw Peninsula. Then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, that's when the storm risk will begin to increase. It might actually increase a little bit faster than what we're seeing on future casts. But late day tomorrow into tomorrow evening, we have the potential for some strong storms moving through our area. Some of those could contain in isolated cases, gusty winds potentially reaching severe criteria. And then we have another system moving in for Friday that's going to give us more chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms. So the storm hazards for tomorrow, heavy rain threat is looking low. The damaging wind threat is a bit more elevated. The hail risk is low and the tornado risk is low. Temperatures currently warmest by the Wisconsin border at 88 degrees in Iron River, 86 degrees in Iron Mountain, 75 degrees in Marquette, and 70 degrees in Houghton. It's feeling more muggy for areas farther to the south where dew points are in the middle to upper 60s. We have a dew point of 67 in Iron Mountain, 66 in Escanaba. So with dew points that high, we're certainly feeling the humidity, particularly over our southern areas. The dew point in Marquette a bit lower at 61 degrees and certainly feeling much less muggy in the Keweenaw Peninsula with a dew point of 53 in Houghton. Temperatures tonight heading down to 62 degrees in Marquette, 58 degrees in Escanaba, 62 in Houghton. Our skies generally partly cloudy and lows tonight about 60 degrees in Gwynn. For tomorrow, temperatures warmest by the Wisconsin border. A toasty day with highs heading up to 91 degrees in Iron River, 89 degrees in Iron Mountain. It'll be cooler along the Lake Michigan shoreline with winds out of the south coming off of Lake Michigan. A high of 74 degrees in Escanaba, 82 degrees in Marquette and heading up to 87 degrees in Ishpeming. We have the solar eclipse taking place early on Thursday, so over West Western parts of the UP, it'll appear that 55 to 65 percent of the sun will be blocked by the moon, 60 to 70 percent over central parts of the UP, and 70 to 80 percent over eastern areas of the UP. And we have pretty good viewing conditions for the solar eclipse. The maximum stage of the eclipse around 6:01 a.m. early tomorrow. The weather forecast partly cloudy with temperatures near 60 degrees. So a lot of us tomorrow will be starting out the day with some sunshine. Morning temperatures in the 60s to 70s. Then the storm threat begins to increase in the afternoon, continuing through the evening. Highs around 87 degrees. On Friday, an unsettled day with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Morning temperatures in the 60s, highs around 76 degrees, and then evening temperatures going into the 60s. For Saturday, possibly some showers early. We should start noticing some relief from the humidity heading through the weekend. Drying out later in the day Saturday, highs around 76 degrees. Sunday morning, starting in the upper 50s to 60s. We'll start off with some sunshine and then increasing cloud cover later in the day. Highs around 77 degrees. Partly cloudy and cooler from Monday. We will see some sunshine. Morning temperatures in the 50s. Highs near 70.